What's up guys, it's Jay here from Traveland RV here in Airdrie, Alberta, and today I have a very nice surprise for you. We're gonna be taking a look at the all new Brinkley Model Z 3610. Let's go. If you haven't heard of Brinkley, they are a brand new privately held company whose idea of building a fifth wheel is doing it the right way and not making excuses that you've been seeing in the industry for years. They have a beautiful automotive looking exterior, gone away from the swooshy, swirly design to a nice clean black and white look. I think they're the best looking fifth wheel in the market as of now. Let's start with taking a quick look at the sticker. So we have a gross vehicle weight rating of 8,027 kilograms because we are in Canada. This Model Z is sitting on the road armor suspension and we got these beautiful 17 and a half inch Cooper tires with beautiful custom rims. Down below, we have a six point auto leveling system. This is where you keep your sewer hose. This is where you dump your fluids. Now down there in the dump area, you won't see any pull handles because one of the nice things about Brinkley is they've gone to a electric waste valve. So this is your gray tank and this is your black tank. So you just push a button to open up those valves. Speaking of plumbing, one thing I love about Brinkley is they're not using plastic fittings. All of your plumbing fittings are brass. And normally with a fifth wheel, you have to bring a water hose with you. This is gonna come with a 65 foot retractable garden hose. Now when you need some hot water, you have the Furion hot water on demand system. Let's take a look at this storage. So we've got just a massive bay down here. This is your auto leveling system. And if you take a look at the type of materials they're choosing to use, this is a nice composite nickel plate material, nice clean carpet. One thing, if you look at the guts of a Brinkley, you'll see things are very, very clean. Now, when you need some propane, you could put a 20 or a 30 pound bottle here and another one here on the campsite. Here on the campsite of the pasture, you can see the nice LED lighting up here. And if you just look, everything is clean. You're not gonna see wires sticking out everywhere or messy connections. You've got your color-coded PEX plumbing lines that are tied down. And one thing you'll see in most RVs is this maintenance access is gonna be closed off and screwed shut. Brinkley leaves it open so you can get a look in there and see all the nice clean wiring, clean plumbing. And there's no you know rat's nest or bird's nest full of wires. Here on the campsite, you've got a nice big awning at the front of the coach. Then here on the back of the coach, you do have a backup camera and a storage bay at the back, because if you got room for storage, you gotta have storage. And again, even their storage bays are clean. You've got that nice composite nickel plating, carpet, motion sensor lights. You've got heat back here and power. Up here on the roof, it is fully walkable. You've got air conditioner here, air conditioner in the center, and another air conditioner at the front. And you've also got this nice big solar panel. So when you're boondocking, it'll keep you off the grid a little bit longer. You also have the WineGuard 360. You know, little things make a big difference. One thing I like, 250 pound weight rating here on this ladder. And a really small thing that I like, this bottom rung is a bit slippery. They actually put grip tape on there. I mean, the little things make such a big difference and frankly, they're very meticulous. The little things are so important. Speaking of little things, check it out. You actually have a key fob with remote locks. You don't see that too often on a fifth wheel. Here's your grab handle. Nice and sturdy, easy to stow away and super clean from the outside, you know, so it doesn't take away from that beautiful automotive exterior. These steps just come down, fold out. Now what I like about this fold out feature is these typically get pretty dirty when you're at camp and then you gotta try to sweep them off before you put the stairs away. But Brinkley thought, let's make it easier. You can just shake them off like that, make packing up a little bit simpler. Here on the door, you do have this nice screen door release. You know, these little handles are kind of a pain sometimes, so they put this bar here. And they also put this plastic screen defender so your cats or your dogs don't scratch through that nice screen door that you have. Right, now let's get to the fun part. Let's look at the inside. Mm -hmm. 
So here in the kitchen, you've got beautiful accent lighting here below the center island. And I love this little touch here for people with pets. You've got these little pull out doggy dishes. I mean, it doesn't take much to add, but if you got a pet, this is gonna really help you out. So here on the island, you've got these nice Corian countertops. They've got kind of a marble look to them. Then we have the gold colored fixtures. This is like a residential faucet, something you'd see in a, a modern built home. So you've got the sprayer. I just love this in my house for doing the dishes. Then you've got a deep sink and it is only one bowl. So this drying rack is gonna help you out when you're doing the dishes. You can let them dry up here instead of one bowl and another bowl. Just fold it over like that. Then inside the island, you got some really smart stuff. So right away, garbage and recycling. I mean, normally you only get one or the other. Then you could put some cleaning supplies in your paper towel here in the paper towel holder. Very cool. Down below, we've got more space. Again, nice clean plumbing. There's not a mess down here either. And you can use this for whatever you'd normally put under the sink in your house. Big drawer here. Very, very solid construction. And check this out, guys. They use dovetail jointry. Most of these, I would say 99.9% .9 of fifth wheels, these are just stapled together, guys. This is actually joint work, which is the better way to do it. But it's also the more expensive way to do it, which is why these things get a bit pricey. You know, you get what you pay for at the end of the day. So we have these beautiful pendant lights as well with lighting up above. Fantastic fan over here. And what do we got for drawers in the kitchen? Big drawer here, big drawer here soft clothes. This is a great place to put some spices. We have a residential style three burner gas cooktop with a cast iron grate and then a nice big oven. You could definitely roast a turkey in there. Up top you've got your microwave, some storage on either side and little things again these little rubber stoppers because this is going to connect with the wall Little rubber stopper there, I love it. Nice big microwave. Down below, more storage. Now this is a wonderful size fridge. This is to stop it from opening during transit. Just unscrew this here. And then let's pop this open. This is one of the newer Furion fridges. You know, I just love the stacking freezer. Uh, you know, my fridge at home, it has the fridge freezer in the bottom and I got to dig through things to find what I'm looking for, but this is the right way to do it guys. Fridge on this side. Absolutely love it. Now this pantry, it's nice and big again, rubber stopper here because it's going to touch the fridge. Now look at this floor to ceiling pantry with backlight that runs all the way down. So you can see what's on every single shelf. And another thing I love about Brinkley is all these shelves are adjustable. So if you've got larger or smaller items, you can make the shelving whatever size you want. So it's not just in a fixed position. I also love this. They put the outlet here. So imagine this, you've got your coffee maker and all your coffee pods, say if you use a Keurig or an espresso, this is your coffee station. So you just open it up when you want to make a coffee and you have no clutter on like your coffee bar or your island, that's just a smart idea. And then if you're bringing appliances, you're bringing a blender, you're bringing a air fryer, this pantry is plenty big enough for all kinds of extra appliances. And they are built residentially and a lot of people are now living in you know, fifth wheels. So having all this space is definitely necessary if you're spending a lot of time, six months to a year in something like this. Down below the coffee bar, we got some storage here. Now this is gonna be electrical over here. Again, soft close everything. This is kind of cool. These are your TPMS, so you have tire pressure monitors for your trailer tires, and you can monitor them with this unit inside your truck. This is a screen for your backup camera. Down below here, we've got LED strip lights. In the outlets, you've got USB and USB-C, and these tiles, 
they're not like a sticker. They're like a subway tile. Very nice quality. Around the corner, this is your control panel. I love that they're using buttons and not a screen. I like screens, but I also like buttons because it's really easy. Slide one, two, three, awning one, two, lights. Everything's very simple, easy to read. And down below there, you've got your converter box with your fuses. Okay, let's take a look at the dinette. So, got a nice little four-seater dinette, but what I love about this, you have a cutlery drawer right at the table. Now think about this, when you're setting the table, your cutlery's right here, you don't have to move it from over here to over here. And it was just dead space that, you know, now it's more useful. You've got residential chairs. A lot of people may have chairs like this in their kitchen. So you've got two here. And you can actually remove this bench if it's only a couple sitting here, so you have more space on either side. And this bench actually comes over here to become an ottoman or a coffee table. I also like the way that they've attached the chairs. So you've actually got a bracket here to hold the first chair in. Then the second chair attaches to that chair so they're not banging around and making a mess back here. And now you can see with a two-seater dinette, you have a lot more space on either side. And now you have a coffee table. And take a look at this. This coffee table actually lifts up to make a bit of a desk here for the sofa. And you've got lots of storage inside there. Let's move on to the living room. So we have dual recliners. And in these recliners, you've actually got heat. So you have heated seats for a cold night, as well as USBs. You have a wireless charger here for your phone, storage for your remotes. And above there, you've got some cabinetry. You can never get enough storage in a fifth wheel. Soft close. Here on the sofa, this is like a residential style sofa. Uh, it's cloth, but it's actually a durable, easy clean, water and stain resistant custom sofa. It's very nice, very comfy, very cozy, very residential, and everything matches. So the sofa matches the ottoman, you know, the leather from the pillows matches the seats, matches the chairs. Everything is very thoughtfully designed to be very clean and matching. On the side, you have storage below these side tables. Storage inside with a strut assist right here. And at the back, you've actually got USB, USB-C, and plugins for your phones, laptops, iPads, whatever and you'll have a matching setup on the other side. Also these great wraparound windows, beautiful accent lights, and again up above, more storage. Then across from your recliners, you do have a fireplace. This will actually put out heat, which is nice if it's a colder day and you don't wanna run the propane furnace. Above there, you have some storage over here and then a nice window or a TV. Of course, you got to have a televator. And some more storage up above there. I think this is a very functional, very attractive living room and entertaining room. All right, into the next room we have a bonus room. This is such a great space. You actually have a privacy door right here. And when you come in, just what a great space. You've got a mirror, you've got a sofa, you've got a bunk up top. So here's the ladder for the bunk. You can just hook it on right here and you get somebody could sleep on the sofa, somebody could sleep on the bunk. And if you don't need the bunk, just take off that ladder and flip up this bunk all the way up there. And now you have a nice big sofa. This will also pull out to make about a queen size bed if you're using this for a second bedroom. We've also got these beautiful lamps on either side again. 
Everything is clean, consistent, matching all the way throughout the coach. On this wall, you've got three hangers for coats or towels or whatever you might want to hang up there. And check this out. Look at this entertainment center. You get this beautiful chest of drawers, big screen, smart TV, lots of storage up above, all throughout, into here. And here's a really cool feature. So a lot of people nowadays are working from their RV. Look how high the ceiling is. You've got a dedicated air conditioner. And if you're working from your RV, you might need a desk or an office. So they made this part pull out and you might've been wondering what this is for. This slides into here. And now you bring in a chair and you've got an office. You can set up your laptop here, set up your TV as an external monitor, or even put multiple monitors. But guys, this is just a great, awesome little bonus room. It could be a bunk room, it could be a media room, it could be a man cave, it could be a woman cave, whatever you want. But guys, what a great little space. All right, next up, let's check out the bathroom. Right through here, and look at this. We have a beautiful vanity, lots of storage in there. Got an undermounted sink. You can actually wash your hands without hitting your head on anything. Got a medicine cabinet right here. It's all backlit. Place to hang your towel, place to plug in your hair dryer. Fantastic fan. Keep it cool, keep it smelling good. And this residential style shower. You've got, I mean, this is nicer than most people's houses. You've got body sprayers, you've got a wand, you've got a shower head. You've got this beautiful surround. Looks like something you'd see in a Mexico hotel. Then you have a linen closet here. Porcelain toilet. Places to hang your towels. And of course, this is one of Brinkley's famous things. They've got this powder-coated steel toilet paper holder with room for extra rolls and a magnet so you can just store it away there when you're not using it. Also, look at this window in the hallway. That's gonna give you lots of natural light and a good view of what's going on at the campsite. Also in the hallway, there's a little bit of space here. Another little nook for storage. It's actually quite big. Okay, and for the grand finale, let's have a look at the primary bedroom. So coming in, you've got a king-size residential memory foam bed. It's a bamboo mattress. Very comfy. This is not an RV mattress. It's a residential mattress. We've got room for some storage for books or whatever you want there. You've got storage up above the windows. You've got nice pendant lights. Very nice, very comfy bed. Great big mirror on your closet. And look at this. Your hanging bar is actually a track light all the way across. So it's gonna give you really good light so you can select your outfit for the day. You've got room for shoes or whatever you want here. And this is one of the few fifth wheels I've seen that does not have a uh, central vac. What they've done instead is prepped it for a cordless vacuum. And the reason is fifth wheels used to be all carpeted, but because there's no carpet in this, you don't really need a vacuum all the time. It's just for spot treatment. So why not just get a cordless vacuum and not waste money on a central vac that you don't really need anymore? I thought that was pretty smart. Now this closet, if you want, you can put a washer and a dryer in here. Or if you're only using it for camping, you don't really feel the need for you know residential features, this is just great extra storage. Beside there, a little recessed storage areas again and your dresser you've got one two three four five six seven drawers and check it out some hidden storage up here for maybe your wallet or keys or whatever you want to stash away and above this beautiful window you do have another smart tv so in summary i wanted to touch on you know why brinkley what's so great about brinkley well brinkley is a company that cares about quality one thing, one of my pet peeves is staples in this fascia board. You'll see if you look at this fascia board, there's no filler, there's no staples. These are actually screwed in from the back, which is not the way it's typically been done. 
but it gives you this really clean look. You're not gonna see a lot of corrections. You're gonna see it done right the first time. The floor, if you look at the floor, the slide outs are almost invisible. It just looks like the floor. You know, if you look closely, this is the cover for the slide out, but the way they've been designed, the way they've been lined up, it almost completely disappears. On the kitchen side, there's generally a lip right here, we call it the toe kicker. They've deleted that, and again, you can barely tell that there's even a slide out there. Again, for me, fit and finish, quality, the devil's in the details, and I really appreciate that. You'll also see there's no trim pieces covering these seams. Typically, those trim pieces are there to cover up uh, problems, but they've just left it all open in silicone, these corners, and you can just see how precise and how well done every little detail is in a Brinkley. Everything from the choice of fabrics, the positioning of different features like the fireplace and the television, the way that everything matches, the way that everything is simple, the way that it looks more like a condo than an RV, I just love it. Even these windows, the windows are completely surrounded so you don't see the edge of the window with this beautiful wood trim. The built-in blackouts, as opposed to the hanging curtains. Built-in bug screens, why would you want that? Well, put the bug screen down, look at the view you get out that window. If it had a built-in bug screen, you'd always be looking at this. But if your window's closed, you actually get a better view. I mean, just little things like that, it's so smart. I also love how the countertops are just so clean. The silicone is so clean. They're not using cheap stickers. They're using like a subway tile. I love that they're putting USBs into the outlets. Again, just, I, I feel like they've thought of everything. And if there's something they haven't thought of, I bet you next year you'll see it added in there. Well, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you spending some time with me and uh, I hope you liked what you saw. If you want to see one in person, get into a Traveland RV location. We're all across Western Canada and we all have Brinkley. You really have to get inside one to appreciate all the quality built in. Thanks for coming along. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Happy camping.